Did I accidentally plug it in? I don't know what to do. pick it up. Oh, maybe I just follow the cables. Wait a minute. This was Adam's apartment. Eric, looks like we got all of it. So, what is all of this stuff exactly? It's probably best if you don't know. Exactly. It's not anything nasty, is it? Like a virus or some top secret weapon type shit? No. Nothing like that. What then? I mean, what could possibly be worth the risk? The future. The fuck does that mean? Okay, really? <laughs> this is a long one. Holy shit. And now I'm guessing I'm gonna have to sneak around. That's fantastic. Um... Act normal. He said it's undetectable. Okay.
Ha. Uh. Okay, I'm trying to trying to pass through, guys. <laughs> okay. I don't think I can do this anymore. I think they're on to me. You're being paranoid. No one's on to you. You don't get it. Every time I go in there, it's like they're all watching. Yesterday, this executive creep gave me this look like I, I could just tell he knew. If they knew, we'd all be dead by now. Maybe they're just messing with our heads. And what purpose would that serve? I don't know. To get their fucking sadistic load off. That's not how they operate. Trust me. I was with the corporation long enough. Oh, lovely. Now what? You know, for a dead girl, we- she sure has a lot of fucking memories. <laughs> Okay. This is really hard to navigate. Uh Okay. One oh four. Oh, what the? Get out of here! Run! Get help! They're here. They come for us. Help me! You need to. Run. Oh God! Oh God! They're all watching you. Okay. Ah. Uh. She tried to escape. Oh God. Okay. 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 <laughs> okay. <laughs> Damn. 
Oh, that is just a bunch of dead birds. That's fantastic. Okay, right in my face. That's cool. Oh! It didn't have to be this way. Ah! Are we are we finally fucking done? Holy shit! Yeah, you want to do that right now. I am control. I am. Yes. Synchrony injected. Strain level decreased. Huh. That was a fucking ride. Holy shit. Okay, so she said 3615, I think? 3615, was it? Let's give it a shot. Oh. Oh dear fucking lord. A surgical chop shop. Just what we need. <laughs> oh, Synchrozine, fuck me up. Well, that's scary. I don't know if I want to pull that switch yet. Um... Those are eyes. This place is a fucking slaughterhouse. There is a guy waiting for you in 102. What the fuck am I supposed to do? Oh shit. I've seen these before. This will help me decrypt the figurine. Uh. List of subject. Terminated. What the hell have you been doing? <laughs> Adam? Oh, what? No, no, no. I wasn't done. I wasn't done. July 6th, 2083. Finally managed to set up a workspace. It's not ideal, but it'll have to do. 
Unfortunately, the first trial proved unsuccessful, to say the least. You'd think after five years of working on this project, my know-how would be sufficient. But without my data, this looks to be a long and bumpy road. July 25th, 2083. I made some unlikely allies. They might be able to assist me in my research, help me retrieve my data from Chiron. Wasn't planning on involving others. Makes the whole endeavor even riskier than it already was. But I need to be realistic about this. An undertaking of this magnitude, I need all the help I can get. <sighs> September 2nd, 2083. Finally got some of my data back. For all the good it did. Subjects are proving unstable. Limited faculties, mental disorders, they just seem broken. Incomplete. Uh, the latest one. Well, he, uh, he just started screaming, and he never stopped. I had no choice but to terminate. I can still hear him. September 16th, 2083. I haven't been getting much sleep. Drugs do half a decent job of keeping me awake, but... The physical limitations are slowing me down. <clears throat> As they tend to do, I feel like the answer is staring me right in the face, and I'm missing it. Maybe I'm not as smart as I'd like to think. Maybe I'm just destined to fuck up. To fail everyone. It seems to run in the family. Wow. Talk shit. Project. Oh, fuck. Shit. I, uh... I, uh... uh I, I don't... I don't remember what day it is. The dreams are getting worse. No doubt a side effect of the stimulants. I just need to ask Jack to adjust the dosage. Um, what's worse is... I think my subconscious is starting to seep into my waking hours. The other day I could swear I heard whispering coming from the black box. Since that's clearly impossible, I have to attribute the symptoms to sleep deprivation. I, uh, usually don't put much stock in dreams, but this one was so vivid. I dreamt of my last day at Chiron. I was back in the boardroom. The executive giving me the same condescending look, telling me to grow up, to move on. Only this time, his face was different. It was a sneering mask of contempt and disapproval. It was the face of my father. Uh-huh. Oh, uh, okay. Bolted down. Can't get it open with my bare hands.
This can't possibly be good. seem to have gotten lost down here. Could you point me to the nearest exit? Oh, yes, I understand completely. Completely. It really is a maze down here, don't you think? I don't like yeah, Maria. It's very confusing. So, about the exit? All right. Go past the noisy noises and then straight ahead up the stairs and there you go. Thank you. Just be careful. Don't stray from the path. You are a child of light, Daniel. Much too precious to get lost in the dark. Oh, uh, yeah. Thanks, uh, Maria. Um. Okay. Remove your implant. <laughs> Nanophage was planned. I'm scared. Um, down in the dark. Uh, Alex Kaminsky takes us on a thrilling tour of the city's criminal underbelly. Cut his finger off. Those were the first words Roach ever said to me. His grizzled face didn't show a flicker of emotion. He said it as matter-of-factly as if asking me for a cigarette. Except he wasn't asking. The owner of the soon-to-be detached finger was a low-level member named Flea, who had made the unfortunate mistake of displeasing his boss. Now it was time to make amends. I didn't hesitate for a second. I'm not sure how well that speaks of me, but it's the truth. Thinking of it now, I know it was a reasonable thing to do. Refusing what was considered an honor would jeopardize the entire operation and made me, at best, a pariah. Too weak to be even spoken to. 
But that wasn't my main motivation, at least not at the time. Truth is, I felt compelled to do it. Maybe it was the tone of Roach's voice, the kind of icy, dispassionate delivery that commands fear and respect more than threats ever could. For a moment, that room became my whole reality. There was only the family and the task at hand. It took me a few tries to sever the man's finger. The blade wasn't the sharpest and I couldn't quite get through the bone. Each strike was followed by a roar of laughter from the other gang members. The man I was cutting laughed as well, in between grunts of pain. When I finally got it done, he stared in my eyes, not with anger or hate, but with genuine gratitude. I helped him redeem himself. So began my second week with the pest. Roach, flee, the pest. Yes, it's a running theme. No, it's not cute or funny or quaint. You join the family, you're given a name. Your true name. No matter how ridiculous it may sound, none of your kin will ever make it a laughing matter. The theme symbolizes unity and the names themselves lose any prior meaning. Until, of course, you give it, you give it a new one. A name like Roach might not sound like much to any regular person, but to the pest, it was synonymous with strength, authority, and absolute devotion. To them, it lost any and all connotation with the tiny creature scurrying off under the fridge when you turn the lights on. It was the name of the man they would die or kill for. Editor's Note This is an excerpt from Alex Kaminsky's investigative journal, Diary of a Pest, My Four Years in the Stacks. The book is available for download now, exclusively on Archetype. Hey, don't panic, man. Think this through. If they knew where you were, why would they give you a head start? What if it's a trap? Maybe they're trying to flush you out, get you out in the open. You ask me, you should stay right the fuck where you are. Lay low, JJ. They found me. They know I'm here. I'm sure of it. Found a dead bird outside my door earlier today. It's their calling card. Can't be a coincidence. I've already got in touch with someone who can get me out. We'll be here tomorrow. It's going to cost me an arm and a leg, but fuck it. What other choice do I have? The buzzers don't forget, and they sure as hell don't forgive. Hey, got your message. Calling it short notice would be an understatement, but I think we can make it work. Gather your stuff and meet me tomorrow outside the building, back alley near the old hotel. Come alone. I see more than one person in the deal's off. 6 a.m. sharp. Don't be late. KPD, can I talk to you? What's up with the fucking lockdown? I want that thing lifted. Right the fuck now. Wasn't my call, but I'm on it. We'll get to it then. Chop, chop. Okay. I need you to take it easy. Just stay in your apartment. Have a cup of coffee. And let me take care of this. You think you can fucking order me around? Oh my yes, god. Fucking mouth. They just put the fucking kid to sleep. <laughs> Keep this, Jessica. We're fucking talking to you. I think we're about done. See you later. Hey, don't you fucking walk away from me, fucking pig. Wow. Here's the tea. I think I'm supposed to go down that hallway where I saw the shadow, which makes me fucking terrified. Okay, please don't. I'm walking very slowly because I don't, I, I don't want to do this right now. Cross is mushroom. KPD, I need to ask you some questions. You, you shouldn't be here. Why would you say that, ma'am? No, he'll see you. He doesn't like me talking to other men. Does he have a name? Please, just, just go away. He'll get mad if he hears us. <laughs> Has he mistreated you in any way? Has he hurt you at all? 
You know, if we need to, we can take care of him right now. No, he's just overly protective. I, I'm his first, you know? Oh, oh God. Oh God, God, I shouldn't have told you that. You don't sound fine. Is this man home now? He's always home. He, he's in the walls. Please, just go. What? Or we'll both be in trouble. Ma'am, I really don't want to leave you like this. It's all right. I am where I want to be. Wonderful. Aren't we having a mad fucking tea party? Well, that's just dope. Um, I I hope I hope you're okay. Oh boy. Um. You're kidding. How the fuck? Hey! Anyone out there? Help me, please! What's wrong? What's going on in there? Oh, thank God. Please, I'm trapped in here. Okay, sir. Can you tell me exactly what's going on? I woke up stuck to this contraption. There was a tube down my throat. I barely managed to pull it out. Okay. Take a look around the room and tell me what you see. I can't see anything. There's something on my head. Oh, God, help me. What the fuck? Uh... Let's try this. This thing on your head. Can you take it off? I... I'm not sure. I, I could barely lift my arms. God damn it, what have they done to me? Sir, listen to me. I want you to park your elbows on the chair, lower your head, and pull backwards. Uh, 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 thanks. I got it off. It's, uh, it's some kind of helmet. There's cables everywhere. There's a logo, some kind of face with wings. The Morpheus VR series. Okay. A what? Hey, hey! Answer me! As captain of the Endeavor, a representative of the United Earth Initiative, I demand to know what's going on here! Uh... I hate to break it to you, sir, but there's no such thing as the United Earth Initiative. What? Do you know what a transfer is? No! Why should I? Someone who checks out, ditches reality, lives in a fantasy world. Well, why are you telling me this? You are in your apartment. You're not a captain. It was an illusion, sorry. The lockdown must have screwed up the transmission. You're experiencing atrophy, so you may have been sitting in the same chair for months. Shut up! You're lying! I don't know what game you're playing, mate, but I do know my crew is already looking for me. Right. Yikes. <laughs> I wasn't trained for this. Wait! Don't leave me in here, you bastard! I, I gotta get out of this hellhole! Reality, pal. Reboot and flip back. It's the best we got. Yikes. Um, you wouldn't happen to know the password to get the fuck out of here, would you? That's the exit. I, I genuinely don't know what I'm supposed to do because I don't know the passcode and I don't want to guess. Because I don't know what happens if I get it wrong. Maria, it's me again. Dan. Daniel, what a pleasure, as always. Yes. Well, that door you mentioned, turns out it's locked. Any other way out? No other way, Daniel. Uh, maybe you know the code? 
We all know it deep within our hearts. Cap, uh huh. Could you spell it out for me? Um, forty and four. Four zero four. And the, the final number? That's for you to find out. But don't tarry, Daniel. This place is not meant for you. If you stay for too long, you'll drown with the rest of us.